Hello everyone, before we get over to the PlayStation Classic demonstration, we're getting started off on my PS3. We're in the PlayStation Store right now, and I looked up Rock Band to see what uh, Rock Band games are available. I've actually purchased more games than are actually showcasing in the store right now, and due to the fact that licensing expires over time, some of these have been removed, such as Rock Band Blitz. But I'm looking up Rock Band Unplugged right now, which is one of the availabilities here, and we have DLC add-ons right here. We can get like Afterlife by Event Sevenfold and an additional song for $2, but the problem is they can remove these from the store at any time so you might purchase it today might be gone tomorrow and it would only be in your download history and uh don't rely on your download history too because we all saw what happened with uh playstation 4 kojima production silent hills work in progress that got inexplicably removed even from download history that is so irritating but it's in the terms of agreement anytime you update you click that they can change at any time just like they used to have linux on the ps3 and that was removed too uh partially because you're able to emulate Super Mario Brothers, etc. on their via NES emulators, and uh, uh, Sony did not like that. But we're going back here, we have Rock Band Unplugged, which I'm going to showcase in a few minutes here. We have Rock Band 3, which is still fun, but good luck trying to do all the trophies on it because the game crashes intermittently, and one of the trophies uh, revolves around doing all the songs back to back, and one of my friends took about three tries before he got them all without the game crashing. Rock Band Network lets you download songs, and I'm still surprised Beatles Rock Band is even available on here at all. But uh, we're going to go back here and exit the store, and that's not the only stuff that gets removed from the store. I mean, we're talking about TMNT, Spider-Man, Transformers, they can disappear at any time. I'm going to go to my download history of some games that I previously purchased on here right now. Uh, let's go to the left there, and I have hard copies of every game I possibly can muster up. Like, I have some, I have all these on hard disk for PlayStation 2. I have Rygar, uh, Rygar Legendary Adventure. I love all Rygar games, arcade, NES, and PS2. Contra Shattered Soldier, I'm hoping they put R-Type Final on here. Then, of course, I have Gradius 5. I want more PS2 games. Neo Contra, Maximo Ghost of Glory, which, uh, basically is essentially a Ghosts and Goblins game. Uh, Capcom Fight and Evolution, can't go wrong there. Going back, uh, to my games here. I have, uh, let's see here. I even have PlayStation 1 games, but we're going to my PlayStation 3 list. I have Rock Band Blitz. Oh, yeah, it's here, but not in the store, because it got removed from the store. Going up here, we have, uh, Batman Arkham Origins Black Case. I don't even know if that's available anymore, but it's on Vita. It's on PS3, and it's an amazing Metroidvania game, which I'll showcase in another video. But going up, DuckTales could be removed, obviously. Even Will Fortune could be removed. But going up, uh, see what else we have that could be removed. I have uh, TMNT, uh, Out of Shadows, and Dangerous of the Ooze, as well as Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. All three of these can be removed at any time due to licensing issues. Going down again to Rock Band Blitz. Uh, we're going to do one quick song, Rock Band Blitz, to give you just what the game's like. Uh, let's go back to the list. And like I said, it's a fun, fun game. It mixes uh, the awesomeness of Rock Band and Guitar Hero with a rhythm style game. So it's a win-win combination here. And I've actually gotten all the trophies on this game, like uh, Platinum did all the way. And uh, people have actually messaged me about how I was able to beat Shout by Tears for Fears as well as uh, Living Color, Color Personality, which are the two most difficult songs in the game. I'm going to go through the list here and pick just one random song. It's been a while since I played it, so I'm going to be a little bit rusty, but I'll give it a gist here. And the other problem is that you have to connect to the Rock Band server in order to use the power ups, and we all know that's not a permanent thing. They take down servers. Okay, Rock Band Central, here we go. Connected. Play, we're going to go through the song list uh, right here. My songs go down the list here, and I'm going to pick something pretty tough to do uh, to start with here. We'll do Iron Maiden Wicker Man. And we can pick power ups here. Uh, I'm going to pick uh, this cold power-up, which is called Road Rage, which makes the notes go off the wall here. You'll see what I mean when I do the game. Uh, we can pick a note power-up. I like to do, like, uh, the blast note. So if I'm doing, like, different instruments, it'll do a little blast, uh, blast radius right next to them. Then uh, we'll pick an instrument, like, we'll just pick electric guitar to apply the most points to. Uh, we'll do super guitar. And I'll play the song here. And again, I'm probably not going to like do as well as I used to do because it's been a while since I've played it. It's a little bit rusty, but you essentially have five instruments that you can play between. Guitar, bass, electric guitar, drums, and keyboard. There we go. Slow down a little bit because I messed up a little bit there. Last note. 
There we go. Our road rage. Then we gotta get our base up. You got checkpoints. You wanna get get all the instruments up as high as you can before each checkpoint. The drums are actually fun. Gotta get this guitar up. Vocals. Another gate coming up here. You see the other things up there? That's actually the other people I've competed against in this song before. Get them vocals up. There go another gate coming up here. Not too bad. I can do a lot better though. And this song is so fun to play in Road to Rum. You can see the keyboards there, but there's so little keyboard in the song, it's easy to miss. There we go. You don't want to miss the keyboard, I already missed one note. So it's like a puzzle game, you gotta kinda know where the instruments are or you can screw yourself. There we go, that's helping the other notes there. You don't want to focus too long on one instrument because then you miss the other ones. Like I just said, I missed the vocals there. I got all the instruments up except for the vocals. I think we got guitar solo here. <laughs> I do have a cut finger right now, so it's not as easy for me to do this. I should still be able to hopefully get five stars. So addictive of a game, though. There we go, blast note. I think I'll get five stars on this. Blast note! Come on, give me a five star! Not quite platinum, but I want at least five star. Five star! <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm not gonna do it. Am I gonna get five stars, guys and gals? Not quite platinum, though. On the final note, oh, please. Oh, I got five star. Just got it, but not quite close to uh, Platinum. As you can see, I got way, way higher last time, but there we go. Now we're going to move over to the PlayStation Classic. Let's get over to the PlayStation Classic real quick, and I'll do a little demonstration of that. Switching over, powering up. Now I need to practice a little bit more so I can get as good as I used to be in this game, but it's fun. And you can actually play all the songs on real drums as well. We're putting up the PlayStation Classic right now, and I'm going to show you two quick games here. Uh, start RetroArch. Turn volume down just a tad. We're going to go into uh, Low Concept Star Treasure Dummy, and uh, we're going to go to uh, PSP here. And we're going to load up uh, two games right in a row. We're going to load up Mega Man Powered Up here, uh, right here. And uh, I'm going to show you one interesting thing here, because just like we had the DLC for uh, Rock Band Blitz, there's also DLC for games, like a multitude of games on PSP, including Mega Man Powered Up. 
Uh, I'm not going to save right now. I'm not too worried about that. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to show you where some of the DLC would be once you actually acquire it. And some of the DLC that's actually uh, legally shareable, I'll put in the update. And I'll do a little tutorial on how to add the DLC, too, if you want to check it out for yourself. And there's the original Mega Man 1, uh, 1987. I got this for 10 US dollars. Uh, one of my friends had it, and he didn't want to play the game anymore because he couldn't beat it. So we're doing power up here, and we're going to go down to uh, construction here. And uh, you can create your own levels. I can go to play levels. I'm going to play here. Uh, play creative stage. Play download stage. I don't have any downloaded stages, but I can actually get DLC, which includes some of these uh, stages, etc., etc. So that's not working right now. So I'm going to exit out of the game. Okay. And we're going to go to Rock Band now. Rock Band Unplugged! Okay, we're now on Rock Band Unplugged. I'm not worried about auto saving. I'm going to continue without saving. And we're just going to do like a quick play here. See what kind of default tracks we have here. I mean, awesome, awesome game. One of my favorites to play on PSP. Uh, here we go. And it's going to ask me if I want to do a tutorial as well. And we got all these logos of the developers, publishers, etc. I mean, Backbone and Harmonix in conjunction, uh, publishing for EA. Uh, let's start here. Go to quick play after we uh, see that. What better song to demonstrate than What's My Age Again by Blink-182. The guy is also a fantastical singer. And of course, Angels in Airways. Here we have Easy Mode Activate, which I never ever do. When I played Ninja Gaiden on Xbox, I didn't ask for Easy Mode Activate. I played it on the default difficulty, which is absolutely insane and crazy hard. But uh, we're going to do this for a moment here to show you a gist of what it's like. I mean, we got four notes here, whereas we only had two notes back and forth on Rock Band Blitz. So this game is already more difficult. We got electric guitar, drums, vocals, bass. And you switch between these with L and R. This is a little bit too easy. That's a modicum of difficulty here. It's going to get very, very tedious very fast here. Don't even have to really try here. So I'm going to go into a harder difficulty. Get a little bit into the gist here. Okay, go into hard mode difficulty. Let's see if it's a little bit more difficult for me than Buster here. And it gets real fun when you do like multiplayer mode activate in uh, Rock Band Guitar Hero with uh, you playing an expert and you got people playing on medium. Not too bad. I mean, more difficult, for sure. That's working out pretty damn awesome. But now we're going to switch over to PC to do the tutorial portion so I can show you uh, more songs DLC-wise. Okay, we're officially on the PC now, and uh, we're going to go to my drive. And I'm going to show you typically uh, where the save data is. RetroArch, saves, PSP, we have game and save data. And then I'm going to show you how I'm actually going to get the transitioned DLC there. I have the DLC already copied over to my drive, PSP DLC. I have it for Mega Man Powered Up as well as Rock Band Unplugged. I'm going into this one right here, uh, which is obviously for Rock Band Unplugged because it has a music voter. You might notice that the character limit is uh, roughly like nine characters or less. So that I'm just going to simply cut and paste this entire folder right to my game folder, just like this. Bam, just like that. But then things could get a little bit more convoluted and confusing because the other one right here, uh, you got to go inside the folder and see what's there. These are well over nine characters. Anytime you run into anything over nine characters or such, uh, you're pretty much going to just take it into the save data folder. So I'm going to cut and paste all of these right to the save data folder. So we have Mega Man Powered Up, which uh, typically you'd have to put in the save data folder because of the sheer amount of characters there that signifies that. And we're all good there. And then for Rock Band Unplugged, we just put the entire folder into the uh, game folder because it is a uh, less character limit. If you're confused on any DLC, I can test and help you out accordingly. But these are all good to go, and we're going to boot up the system. Okay, we're doing a DLC test for both Mega Man Powered Up and Rock Band Unplugged, respectively. Let me know if you've been watching on your various streaming services, Netflix, Hulu, uh, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, Tubi, Shudder, YouTube TV, etc. There's roughly 50 of these ridiculous, ridiculous streaming services now. It's going to get crazier over time. We're doing Mega Man Powered Up right now, and then we'll do Rock Band Unplugged. And love like I said, I've been watching, like, Ozark. I finished that up in recent months with Jason Bateman, who I've seen way, way back in Different Strokes, a show that, not Different Strokes, 
Silver Spoons, the show I watched as a kid. But I also love uh, different shows with Chad, of course, Gary Coleman and Todd Bridges. Uh, Dana Plato, etc. Fun, fun show as well, but different strokes, and uh, Silver Spoons were two childhood classics of mine, and Silver Spoons had Ricky Schroeder as well as Jason Bateman, amongst other actors. Okay, to check this out, and uh, go into some test here with Construction Mode Activate, and I've also been watching Lucifer, I'm almost done with that. Uh, fun, fun show on Netflix that loved the whole entire show. I mean, I gave it a shot a couple years ago. I didn't really get into it so much. I didn't have much of a vibe for it, but then I went back to it and enjoyed it just like I did when I went back to shows like Dexter, Breaking Bad, etc. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, Big Bang Theory. These are shows that I watched, like, one episode of, I'm like, meh. Then I went back to them later on, and I'm like, okay, this show's not so bad. I gave it a shot and loved it. And some shows just take a few episodes to get into, like even Battlestar Galactica, 2003, etc. That was a show that took a few episodes to really get into, but once you got into it, it's one of the best shows ever made, sci-fi-wise, right up there with the, like, of oh, Star Trek Next Generation. But I've also been watching, uh, like I said, A Year of Angel with Charlie Sheen, fun, fun show. They have roughly 100 episodes because they needed just enough to be able to get syndication right. It's a very, very entertaining show, nice extension of stuff like Two Naps Night with Charlie Sheen. And it's also the namesake uh, with Adam Sandler uh, movie of the same name. But let's see what you get far here. And uh, Fireman's a beast for sure here. I've also watched the show called You, which is a similar show, Mind in Nature, to the craziness of Dexter. And surprisingly enough, the show hailed from the network called Lifetime Television for Women, the show channel that people would kind of avoid just because of the namesake of it being television for women. But it's actually a uh, uh, network that has some interest in true life crime stories. I mean, obviously, fun around the course a little bit for fictional purposes on the channel. But they had, like, as a kid when I come home from school, I see stuff like Saved by the Bell on the normal networks. But when they had, like, golf, uh, preempted uh, by stuff like Saved by the Bell and all that, I would go to Lifetime Television for a moment, see, like, the Lolita, uh, Long Island story with Joey Beautiful going Amy Fisher, etc. And uh, I know Amy Fisher went on to become, like, an adult film star and webcam model years later. But uh, they also did more recent times, like a story about Ariel Castro and the three women he held in captivity and Amanda Berry, etc. in Cleveland, Ohio. Then uh, I don't know if they've done like a TJ Lane uh, Sharded High School shooter uh, story yet, uh, or like, uh, of course, Anthony Sal, but I'm sure they will in time. But they've done some interesting stories on there, and they, they fit up with some of the B movie horror movies that I've seen over time. I like horror movies in general. Like I said, I've even gotten a Shutter Street service and watched The Critter. Uh, reboot on her, which has some very, very interesting dark comedy style nature on there. They did a sci-fi channel interpretation of it, which was not even that great. They even had T. Wallace, who was in the original one as well as E.T. and Cujo. It wasn't nearly as entertaining as the, the Shutter version that they did. They were standalone. But let me know what you've been watching, and uh, like I said, even like standalone episodes in certain shows, like uh, when I watched season 5 of Lucifer, I didn't particularly enjoy the black and white episode of season 5, but it went back to 1946. I didn't really enjoy that one, just like I didn't really enjoy the Fly episode of Breaking Bad. I mean, it is what it is. There are certain episodes that are standalone I didn't enjoy. They did stuff like that for Supernatural with Scooby Doo, which I found entertaining, and Hercules Legendary Journey, where he did them in their current day times, like 20th century, and they're doing, like, uh, their main, like, them, they're acting in their real roles, like uh, Kevin Storwell, etc. They had, like, a gin show for the show, which is kind of funny. So let me know what shows uh, are standalone episodes that you actually enjoyed or didn't enjoy. Uh, do the first show, third time of the time, we'll do this one more time, and if I fail in the third time, we'll move on to another stage, or the Rock Band Unplugged. But like I said, it says Ultimate Ghost and Goblins for a reason. It's not at all easy. It is very, very challenging. And I also enjoyed way, way back when I got the magazine, and people were reviewing Ultimate Ghost and Goblins, and they gave it negative reviews just because people couldn't even beat the first stage. And I've said this multitude of times before, but the game is actually not that hard because you can get Metroidvania style power-ups, such as uh, Double Jump, which really makes the game a hell of a lot easier. But let's try to get through this this time without getting taken out. Come on, focus, focus. Oh yeah. And it gets much more difficult to the stage. I mean, this is a well, well crafted stage. Who, whoever made the stage, I give you tremendous props. We're gonna do this, guys and gals. Go to the top here. <laughs> Fire! How many games have you played where you have characters say the same voice samples over and over again, like Devil May Cry, etc.? They don't really irritate me, but they get pretty ridiculous at times. Okay, we made it that time. Just a little bit of finesse here. We make it this time? Yeah. These uh, jump lines, kind of like an Iceman stage, except uh, you don't have to actually 
jump up in the air and be suspended in midair to do it. I know this is going to get much more difficult, but we got to definitely see uh, how the sound quality parlays into Rock Band Unplug for our final phase of the video. And this is going to be hard. There's actually a little glitch you can do, if I remember correctly. Oh, we made it! I believe if you get hit by one of the pickaxes in midair, you can jump on this bike for a split second and uh, be invincible frames, just for a couple frames, enough to get through there. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Oh, the fire helped me from behind. Behind shots for the win there. Okay. I'm making it farther than I did, but uh, what do I do here? Oh, great. Where do I... Okay, I get it. We gotta time this jump perfectly. Oh, that was perfect. I don't know what to do here, though. Let's see. This is so cool. Really, really enjoying this. It's like a puzzle. Another one of those with an enemy there? No. Okay, well, we made it a third time. We're now going to go rock band uh, unplugged. And that was a fun demonstration without a doubt. But let me know what uh, standalone episodes you're not a fan of. And uh, what show you've been currently streaming on the various streaming services. And don't tell me about Moonlight. I'm not really interested in seeing it anytime soon. But here we go for the final, final, final game in the video. We're going to do rock band unplugged. See what kind of DLC we have. Uh, let's check it out right now. Uh, PPSS PP Extreme. Okay, let's check out the awesome mod uh, catalog of music here. Like I said, I'm very absolutely frustrated and irritated the fact that licensed games could disappear inexplicably from the stores at any given time. It's not like having hard copies like we do with the UMD, over Rock Band Unplugged on PSP, as well as the real disc for, of course, the uh, Rock Band and Guitar Hero games. I remember somebody kind of teased me when I got the Green Day uh, Guitar Hero uh, game, and uh, it was fun too. But let's check this out real quick and see what kind of songs we have. No, we're not worried about the tutorial. We're going to do a quick play and skip past this tutorial part. And uh, there we go. Let's see what kind of songs we have here. We have Pro Jam, Foreigner, Belly, Paramore, R.E.M., Jackson 5, Stone Temple Pilots, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Oasis, Godsmack, Weezer, Pixies, Spot Tamp, Evanescence, No Doubt, Green Day, Zombies, uh, Miley Crew, Rush, Radiohead, where's the micro stream guys? Grateful Dead, Sonic Youth, 30 Seconds, Martin Pat, Venatar, Foo Fighters, Little Skittered, uh, Skilly Dan, Alien Ant Farm, uh, Dropkick Murphy, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Event Sevenfold, Coheed and Cabrera, Foo Fighters, Moose, Mute Math, James Addiction, White Zombie, Fratellis, Disturbed, Foo Fighters, etc, etc. I mean, there's like roughly 80 plus songs in here. These are all incredibly awesome. We're gonna go to, uh, We'll do like Feed the Tree Bag Belly, a nice 90 songs, and we'll do like for Mode Activity real quick. So let's check this awesome stuff. out. Feed the Tree by Belly. I kind of said it like Fat Bastard from Austin Powers, but hope you enjoyed the video. I only have a few percent left on the battery of my camera, so it may fail before I get to the end of the song, but I'll try. Red tree grows up and out throws up its 